Now, it's always a special day when we get to welcome the head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, to the studio. Phil, I got to tell you, you're the most famous person that I know. I'm absolutely gushing. The most famous person. You know, <laughs> so you're thank you so much for joining us. I know. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. Either way, Phil, how's it going? What's been up? What are you doing? Uh, you know, one, I get to be on Inside Xbox. I'm not on that often. You know, I talk to the team, and it's great to get to come on and uh, talk about what we're doing this week and some of the news to come. And it's a big week, right? We've got Forza launching? It is. Um, I think people out there know I'm a huge Forza fan. It's great. You know, Playground, a new part of our game studios organization, shipping their first game as part of our teams. And I was looking at some of the review scores this morning. Amazing. I was playing over the weekend. Game is beautiful. It's just awesome to see the anticipation to go and play in England with uh, your cars in Forza Horizon 4. And speaking of which, what's your favorite season to see in England? So far, so I started this weekend on the the, the full game. Yeah, you kind of, I am in winter. I always like driving in winter because I think it's just fun. Back from Forza Horizon 3 and yeah. Snowman, all that is great. Uh, but I have to say, autumn is beautiful. Like just the colors in HDR look fantastic. Absolutely. It's good. How about you? Uh, you know, I got to play a little bit, but then, you know, stuff with this show started taking off. I'm You're not, a busy man. I'm not busy in Goodwood. Man. I'm here with you instead, so I got to, you know, count my blessings. Right? I heard that maybe I was the thing that kept some people going from England, so that bummed me out. I it's okay. It. We're here. We're here. Either way. So we've talked about Forza. Yeah. You know, we've obsessed over Fortnite, but we've got you on the show, which means we got to be doing something big, right? And I hear something's going on in November. So what'd you bring for us today? Yeah, you know, when we look back at the history of Xbox and one of the things that's so critically important to us, the team, is just the connection we've had with the fans over the years. And uh, I think the teams have done an amazing job building this regular fan fest uh, events that we have at the big events. But we thought about, is there something that we used to do that we could bring back? Uh, that was more predictable so people uh, could kind of think about the news that might come. And uh, we're bringing back XO. We're bringing back XO this year. For people who don't remember, XO was an annual event we used to have. We would take it to different cities. We would have news there. It was just our event. It was all about Xbox. Uh, I think one of them, we announced the rare acquisition at XO. I think we were in Barcelona when that happened. Uh, but no, uh, November 10th, we're going to be at XO 18. Uh, we're holding it in, at the same time we're doing our Fan Fest in Mexico City, where we just already have thousands of fans that are going to be there. So this year, it's going to be a global event. If you're at home, uh, this is just like the Inside Xbox show. You're going to be able to participate from home with everything that we do online. But it's also always great to be there with our thousands and thousands of fans in Mexico okay. celebrating their love for Xbox. So XO18 is coming back. Love All it. Right. So XO18, Mexico City, November 10th. Thousands of people in attendance, everyone joining Inside Xbox for a huge special show online. Yeah. That makes it sound like there should be some news, right? So what type of things can we expect? Yeah, you know, if you if you go back and maybe you're on YouTube somewhere, look at some of the old XOs. We use a great third party support. I think we're gonna have that. We'll have first party show up in a big way. Make sure that we have news there to pop because we know our fans love that. Mm -hmm. In events, we can celebrate what it means to be an Xbox fan, a gamer, um, with our our great third party and first party studios and other things that we can bring. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, so Phil, I got to tell you. Um I've got the, the community chops, right? I used to be that guy that was lined up first in line for everything before these events were around. Now, now you get, I get free. To, you don't yeah, have to yeah, line now up. Now I get to be on the other side helping plan these events. I'm just, I'm more so curious, what does it mean for you to be able to put these sort of events on for the fans? And what's your inter interaction like with people when you're out? I love that you asked that. You know, I'm, I'm going, I'll be there uh, in Mexico City. Uh, I think one thing that I think the fans have to understand their voice in what we do is critically important. Mm -hmm. uh, we listen to the feedback that people have, sometimes really emotional feedback, sometimes really specific feedback, sometimes just a, a feedback about things they love, things they don't love. That interaction, the passion, uh, the commitment that our Xbox fans have had over the years for us um, is just critical, critical to the, to the product and services that we try to put in front of them. So every time I get to go to one of these events and sit down or if I'm online playing with somebody um, and they're telling me, you know, we're listening. We're listening to their feedback. We can't do everything. And I know that that always frustrates some people. Uh, but we're listening to, to the things that our customers have to say. Uh, we're always striving to be better tomorrow than we were today with the product and services that we build. Uh, and these Fan Fest events uh, are critical to that. So I hear you talk about the importance of fans. And I know what they've been asking for for a very long time. So I'm going to push you for something here. I'm going to see if we can make this happen. I need a piece of news from you. It's great that we have you all the way here. And yes, we didn't get to go to England. But if we have you here... We need to do something big. So what can you tell me? 
Yeah, one of the things that I've talked about for quite a while, and I get a knock on Twitter every so often of, hey, when is this actually happening, uh, is mouse and keyboard support on Xbox. Uh, and I'm proud to announce that's coming. And it's going to be in preview in October. We're going to be partnering uh, with Warframe okay. to be our first game to help us test this uh, and get feedback from customers on how it works. Now, I want to make sure, because I'm always having to explain this mouse and keyboard support, like, why are we doing this? And are we going to mess up everybody's multiplayer sessions today? Yeah, well, everybody's what about my lose. matchmaking? That's, That's right. I need to know. So these are tools for developers. We're, ne we're not going to force mouse and keyboard support on a game that wasn't designed for it. Like the developer owns the creative vision for their game. And if their game is a controller only game and that's the way they want it to work, great. Love that. No issue there at all. So we put that control in the hands of the developers. But there are certain games out there that require mouse and keyboard, and those can't come to console today. And we say, OK, if we put these, these, this capability in the hands of developers, we'll get more of those games. There's some games when you just want to go play with your friend, and somebody happens to be in a place where they're more comfortable with mouse and keyboard than controller where a developer might want to open up that option uh, so that they can bring more people into play and gamers have choice about how they want to play. In terms of like hopper support and matchmaking support as you bring up, that's all in the hands of the developers. So if you're a dominant FPS player right now on controller and you're worried that all of a sudden you're going to get swamped because a bunch of mouse and keyboard player are going to get flooded into your game, like that's not what we're doing. Okay. We're putting choice in the hands of the developers about the games that they want to bring. I'm excited about it because I always think when we increase increase the creative canvas that our developers have to use in order to create games, we always get amazing things. And the feedback that we're getting from developers is great. We're going to have a lot more games to talk about at the XO event uh, that'll be supporting this. So that's just a small thing in terms of mouse and keyboard support, but I know people have been asking about it for a while. That's no small thing. That's great <laughs> news right there. So from what I'm hearing, just to recap it all, to re reel it all back in, this is really um, something about developer choice. And my experience may change based on game, yeah? Yeah, that's right. And it's so you shouldn't expect that every game on the platform now supports mouse and keyboard. And you know, if the game was originally designed as a controller only game, that's the way the game works. And your your experience as a player is going to be exactly what you had yesterday. It'd be the same tomorrow. It is really about developer choice and the creative things that they can do on our platform. Gotcha. That's that's awesome from a platform level. I'm excited for it. But what I've got to know now is where should I as a fan direct my um, encouraging support if I want to see my game supported? Yeah, I think, you know, talking to the developers for your games is always a great place to start uh, about how you feel. Like, we obviously have our user voice channels. We're in constant conversation with developers that are on Xbox and on Windows about things that we can make, uh, we can do to make the platform and in in your experience better as a player. Uh, our customers are pretty good at finding us and telling us what they think. But, you know, the, the developers really own the creative vision behind their games, and I think that's where the key decisions will be made. All right. Well, Phil, I'm definitely looking forward to Mexico City, XO18, November 10th, yeah? Yeah, it's going to be fun. I love going down to Mexico. I wasn't there last year, but two years ago I was there. Uh, it is just, like, I think we're supposed to have over 10,000 people there this year. It is crazy, the uh, the support we get from the fans down there. And it's nice that this first XO event's happening there uh, because we can get to celebrate with them. And then from the future, we'll, we'll see where we go. All right, Phil, bringing it back to mouse and keyboard, one more question before you go. Yeah. I know you've got something else that you're eager to tell us about, yeah? Yeah, you know, like many things, when we started designing this feature coming to Xbox, we really wanted to give people choice. Uh, one thing, we support USB HID. So the devices that you already have, the USB devices wired, wireless, those will work on Xbox. But we said, hey, if we're going to announce this feature, we're going to launch it, we're going to have games coming and support it, let's find a partner out there that can really help build a, an accessory that I think will be great uh, in this experience. And we partnered with Razer. You know, Razer is a company we've had a, a long history with. We've known them for a long time for all the great work they've been doing on PC and, and just been a great gaming company. And so it was exciting to them. We went with them. We talked to them about this feature on Xbox. They had some really unique ideas about mouse and keyboard support and how they would design something specific for that environment. I think it's going to be great when the fans get to see what they've uh, come up with. Awesome. Well, Phil, thank you so much for joining us today. It's always a pleasure when we get uh, one of Major Nelson's direct reports to come in here and talk to us in the studio. I hope the boss likes my performance today. <laughs> and we can't <laughs> wait for November, so we're excited. It'll be good. 